Hey guys, welcome back. Um, first things first, I hope you like the little voiceover thing I did uh, for last week's, last Monday's episode. Um, I hope that's something you guys enjoyed. Today we are going to try and get into um, some trouble on customs. We need to go into the customs terminal again and we need to go into form room 203, I think it is. Um, I guess it is, um, it's just the way it is with Tarkov. You have to get into customs at the start so often, and it's such a hard map. Now, people are really, really sweaty on customs lately, um, and I have, honestly, just, on my streaming account, I've been playing loads of Factory, I've been playing some Interchange with my brother, we play loads of duos. You guys can come join in as well if you want to play. Um, maybe not always. Uh, it's, the party's not always open. But you can spend your Twitch points, the um, channel points, to do a raid with me. So if that's something you guys like to uh, see more often, then that's something that can definitely happen more often. Um, again, stream month this month. Don't forget to just jump on in. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure to follow the Twitch channel because there's going to be loads of streaming. Um, another update is that I am looking into making more guides because I've noticed that the customs loot guide is, um, well, something people really enjoyed and something that helped people a whole lot. I understand that not many people will find my channel the way it is, so it's also a nice bit of uh, exposure always when you make guides. Um, yeah, that's, that's uh, the plans for now. I have like an old list on my little phone here um, with all these uh, these um, kinds of videos I'd like to make uh, in this month. So today is the first day of recording, so we'll see how far we can get. I hope to get the five raid episodes done, obviously, um, and um, maybe a guide or two. Uh, it's also very important that you guys let me know what you guys want to see. Excuse me. Because, um, because if you do not, then I do not know. And if I do not know, I can't really do anything about it. Okay, that milk, mayo. Okay, the milk, I probably... Oh, I always want to keep everything. Just the slugs. This is actually worth quite a bit. Ah, that's... Doesn't really matter. It does not really matter. Okay, so dorm room 203. And... Which one? The customs terminal office. Now probably when we get into dorms, we are just going to get destroyed. But sometimes you do get lucky. Um, probably not on a Saturday afternoon though. That's not a day you normally get lucky on. Try to get that metabolism going. You need at least level 3 for a certain hideout upgrade. But I'm not entirely sure which upgrade that is. I think 2 or 3 is in the... Three story dorms. Okay, so That was a player. Let's see what happens. I would be very surprised. He's already upstairs.
No, he's outside on the... the one. Uh, that's unfortunate. He's inside here, probably. Yep. Yep. Thought so. That's just the way it is with dorms, you know? People are just always going to go straight there, and it's really annoying sometimes when you're playing solo. Um, especially if you don't have as much time. Because you can do two things. You can just wait a long time for everyone to have gone through the dorms, but then I have to wait half an hour <laughs> in every raid before I get into dorms. And another thing you can do is go in so geared that it doesn't really matter anymore. Because you'll just be able to kill everyone. But then that kind of destroys the purpose because we don't have that kind of stuff. We don't have that kind of money. Yes. Just something we'll have to get used to as we go. Should be fine for now. We do have enough money to uh, buy another uh, M rig. And then we'll just bring in the ADA like that. Take some painkillers, and we still have the eye pack. So we we lost a nice M uh, nice AK. But other than that, it, uh, it just gets a bit difficult. But this is just the way it goes. We're getting in right now. Um, I'm I'm trying to think. But I do think that once we get one quest done, I'm just going to try and... Maybe I'll just try and get out. But maybe not. We'll see. You know how I am. Okay. Um, people already shooting over there. Um, I'll try and get the customs thing done. Uh, the dorms thing. Kind of feel like I have to. We did manage to get this ADAR back from insurance, but I did lose about half of my insured items. Because I didn't log in. Because last week at work was my last week, and we had to work overtime from like... So I was working days from like half eight in the morning till 10 at night. I did that on Thursday. And the rest of the week was uh, was really, really busy as well, so. Is that a scab that was laughing? God diggity damn, son. I'll just take it with me. Why not? Ah, oh, great. It's starting to rain. He did manage to hit us quite well, actually. But only one body part. So he didn't break nothing. I'm popping a painkiller here. Okay, that's a scav. But I do not know if it's scav boss. Let's hope it isn't. We're not. We are not ready for that kind of. We're not ready for that kind of, of a party. Most of the time, we get a regular scav like that. It probably means that scav boss isn't here. 
So that's good. I'm pretty sure dorm two or three. No, no wait. It's the other side. Two or four. This is two or three. Okay, this is there. Alright. See what we have. mean to discard that oh shit Whew, that scared the shit out of me Going to check if he has anything good. Apparently, he does. Multiple good stuff. Okay. So, we have this room here. I'm going to check real quick with the two jackets on the floor, and then I'm just going to get out of the dorms. Don't need those cigarettes. The Marlboros, I've already gotten all of them. Okay. I'll take the, I'll take the G phone. Right, so that's one. I'm not going to go all the way back to try and get the uh, customs terminal thing done. If we can get out with this raid, that'd be good enough for me. Those are always good to have. Don't necessarily need that. There we go. Okay. And now we'll just have to try and survive. So, when running customs, it's a very shallow map, in my opinion, like compared to others. Like, it's pretty easy to run interchange and never see another PMC. In customs, it is really hard not to run into anyone, because... It's such a shallow map with such, like, clear paths you can trap, you can travel from. Like the way the way I'm walking right now, it's just some path people usually use all the time. It's a little bit stressful if you want if you do want to get out. Um, I'm going to do like a, a small bit of my um, loot run while, while we're going to the extraction. 
like my safe loot run trying to keep to the uh, edge of the map that's on the rock overlooking gas station that shooting but that's good their focus is on the on the gas station side not on our side and this is what I mean by safe like either someone is really is trying really hard not to be seen and just get out when they're walking here where we're walking right now or they're trying to come up from that side to this side I'll just lose this scav vest to be honest with you that was actually not that far away I kind of want to stay away from people with automatic fire at this point with this ADAR. This is really just a scav wrecking machine. But fighting other PMCs up close with it uh, gets really tricky really quickly. That's right, there is the scav checkpoint, pretty sure. So I kind of want to be quick here. Don't see the sniper scav. <clears throat> Always make sure when using one of these scopes that can have multiple zoom levels. I think you should always try and keep it like the furthest zoomed out when you're moving along. Simply because if someone comes up to you, um, they're close to you, at least you have some, some chance. But then again, it's really difficult with a scope like this. Look how long it takes for your scope to come up. So it's really difficult to win a 1v1 in a really tight, tight spot. In CQB combat. Now here, when going for this spot here, you don't want to sprint over to it because it makes a lot of noise for people that might be on the other side of the wall. Apple juice. Did you see that guy right in front of us? God. My God. How did I even shoot him? Where did that scav go?
Okay, let's get rid of some stuff we don't necessarily need. Man. What kind of ammo is in here? BT shit. That means we need that. Christ. All right, this is taking quite a while, but And it's starting to rain quite heavily now. Hell, man. Scared the shit out of me. Check if he has a key card or anything. Holy shit. That was just one of those raids. I don't understand how we killed the guy. That was the luckiest shot of my life. One hundred percent. Can you imagine now getting spawn camped? Like extra camped. That'd be something. Right, so. <laughs> we managed to get out as well. I do not know, for the life of me, how I killed that guy. I do not understand. Because he actually sprayed us. I don't know, he heard us or something. He had a contact on. But I didn't even really move. He heard us. It was just looking in my direction. And, uh, yep. Start the spray in. They didn't manage to get us, so. 
You must be pissed. I don't like... <laughs> I don't like the ADAR like that for PvP. It's alright for questing. When you're trying to stay away from people. Then it's not too bad. But holy shit, look at all this stuff. The nails are worth, like... A lot. A lot right now. Enough scopes for a lifetime. 29. The last morphine we needed for the quest. Sugar I'll just sell. Vendor that. The meds you can make these out of. A hose. A hose is always good for the hideout. Screw nuts as well. Profitable I'll probably just sell, to be honest with you. The G phone we'll need later on. There we go. Come on guys, I do not have the space to have all these AKs. Go to sell this one then. Because this one's much better. And this is one of my favorite shotguns, but it doesn't have the right amount of ammo in it. I'm selling that too. Okay. This is, uh, I'll just, this armor class 4. So I'll, s I'll probably sell that. I uh, might as well use it. And we can sell the contacts and then do this. Look at that. That's not a... Not a bad raid at all. Because we did manage to get a couple of quests done in here. Quite some quests, actually. I did not have to take that BP ammo with me, that raid. I don't know. Just try and sell this on the auction house. Most of the time, if you have meds that are, like, almost empty, it might be worth it to just chug them on there. But for 5,000... That's only if you uh, really need the money. But stuff like sugar is always worth just chugging on the flea market. Same with this ammo. Uh, this one's not worth that much. Probably we can just sell to... Uh, what's the name? Our good friend therapist. The rest of this can just be vended. Let's see how far we can get with that. So you can get more for, for that prop at all from just vendoring it than actually are uh, the only things we do want to sell via the flea market are these probably. 22. If you sell them to scare, you get 11. Yeah. So that's normally how I go about things. I can get 24k for these when I sell them on there. I would keep them, but I don't want to use them right now. And I don't have the space to then just hold them in my inventory. Now these scopes are pretty good. I might want to keep them for later weapons, but ah, fuck it. I, I also have another BK06 there. We'll live. There we go. That was a pretty good run. And then we have to hand in some quests. Complete. Punisher. Okay, so now we have the Punisher series going. We have the morphine done. And then we get pharmacist. Oh yeah, that's right. Dorm 114 and two-story dorms. Okay, so at least we have something to do next uh, next episode. Look at all those painkillers, man. These are all going into the med case. Alright, that's good. Did make like 100-something K from that last run. We really needed it, so... 
Plus all the stuff we put in here. Which is quite a lot. Because those bulbs sell for 15k. G phones like the same amount. 50k or something for the hose. The screw nuts are like 12k each. The nails are actually very expensive. 38. So just like that. We add all that up. You can see that really adds up to a um, pretty substantial amount of money we just got. So that's good. Third G phone. I don't think we need that many, but, you know. Sold one of the contacts. Okay, so. I don't think we, ha we did get anything else done. No. But we did manage to kill a couple more scavs, so that was good. Um, I'm just going to be running this level 4 armor for the next raid. Um, let's run with the Mosin. Because we did drop the ADAR. But we did take the Valde scope off it. So thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it. Uh, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to ask all your questions about Tarkov in the comment section down below. February is stream month. So don't forget to follow the streaming channel. Twitch. Down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Eddie out.